Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare an SD card for your Raspberry Pi on the Windows operating system. I have another video that shows how to do it on the Macintosh. It's a different process, so if you have a Macintosh, uh, take a look at my other video. Uh, this one is for Windows. should work f pretty much the same for XP, Windows 7, uh, and Windows 8. Uh, the place you want to start here is the Raspberry Pi um, downloads page. That's raspberrypi.org slash downloads. Uh, everything you need to get to, you can get to from this page. Uh, the first thing you need to get is the uh, operating system image file. Uh, I'm going to recommend that you start with the um, standard uh, operating system, Raspberry Wheezy. Uh, it's down here. Uh, it's available as a direct download, a zip file. If you'll take a look at this page, you can see that there are a couple of other uh, options you have for operating systems. You can take a look at these as your needs dictate, uh, but I'm going to recommend that you uh, start with a, with a Wheezy uh, uh, disk image, the standard Wheezy disk image. Uh, so pretty much all you need to do is click this, um, download it to a file, uh, download the file to a folder on your computer. Uh, I made a folder called Pi, uh, and I'm going to stick uh, that uh, zip file uh, in that folder. Um, be aware that it's a, a very large file. It's almost 500, um, 500 megabytes, so it's going to take a while to download. The other thing you need is a program that you're going to use to actually write this image to uh, uh, the SD card. Uh, as, as it comes, it's uh, an image file, uh, and you can't just copy that to the SD card. You actually have to write it in a special way. And there's a program that will um, uh, do that for you. It's available from this page. Uh, so if you'll click this link on Win32 Disk Imager, uh, also f uh, linked from the Raspberry Pi Downloads page, uh, that'll take you to uh, uh, the, the site where you can download it. That also is going to download as a zip file. Uh, you can save it to the same file you stored the image in. Um, and um, uh, So download that, uh, get it stored away. Uh, when you're done downloading, uh, let's take a look at those folders here. I've already extracted these. The, the files that you downloaded are this uh, raspian.zip, um, which is the image file. Uh, compressed uh, zipped file uh, and the uh, disk imager uh, application uh, that comes as a binary zip file. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just extract these. If you right click on it, um, you can uh, extract all um, and it will give you the default folder here, um, which is uh, in in the folder that you downloaded these, these items to. Uh, I've already done that. Uh, so now here, if we take a look at the um, uh, the disk imager file, um, it's, it's downloaded, the executable program will run that. Uh, and then of course the image that we need is in this folder here, uh, and it uh, ends in, the, in .img, this is the image file that we're going to need. Now of course the other thing you need is a SD card reader, USB SD card reader. Uh, I'm going to suggest that you start out with this unplugged, and I'm going to show you why. Let's take a look at my computer. Uh, this is my computer and it's showing uh, nothing plugged in so far. What I'm going to do is plug it in uh, and I'm going to look at my computer in order to be able to tell what the drive letter is for the SD card after it's plugged in. Uh, so we can start here with it unplugged. Now I'm going to plug it in. It's going to take a few seconds to show, so give it, um, give it some time for the thing to load. And now we see we've got removable disk and it's come up as E. Now this might come up as something else on your system, but what you want to check to make sure uh, is that you have, this, um, you have this drive letter here and you remember what that is. Uh, with that done, we can go back to uh, the, the um, uh, folder where we downloaded uh, and take a look at the executable here. That's in this folder here. Uh, I'm going to right click this and I'm going to select run as administrator. Uh, it needs to write um, uh, out some stuff to this SD card in, in, um, in the boot sectors, and um, it may work without running it as administrator, but it's usually recommended that you run it, that you run it as administrator. And it'll take a few seconds for this program to load. And there we go. Uh, now, if you take a look, it's actually selected uh, the, the proper uh, file here. It, it probably will, but I just want you to, to run that test I ran before, plugging in the US drive to make sure, just in case 
um, you know the program uh, picks something in error you don't want to format the wrong uh, the wrong drive or anything so just confirm that um, uh, the device here um, is the one that you actually want to write to that's the USB um, uh, card reader with the SD card inserted in it um, if it happens that there's more than one you can you can pick the correct one uh, now the only other thing we have to do is we have to navigate um, uh, to find the image file uh, the image file uh, we downloaded and then extracted here uh, so you'll need to navigate to that folder and select this image file uh, click OK uh, and then you're really all, all, all set to go um, go ahead and click write um, this is writing to a physical device can corrupt the device target device E just just make sure that this is the uh, uh, SD card and then uh, yes you're sure you want to continue go ahead and click yes this will take um, uh, a few minutes. Um, I'm going to pause the recording now. You don't have to watch that spin. Um, it's going to take about five to ten minutes altogether. So I'll pause the recording and come back when it's done. All right, we're back. That took about uh, five minutes. It says write successful. This really is the, the completion of the task here. Uh, you can click OK and uh, close down this window. And now you can safely remove the uh, uh, USB SD card reader and the SD card. Uh, plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and give it a go, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that in the next video. So thanks for watching.